<laughs> well, hello there, the lovers, internet, and YouTube's alike. Oh, I am so damn tired. Up all night last night, and, uh, boy, I don't know if anything could... Oh. You know what? I think I do know something that could help. Mm, coffee, 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 coffee. Ah, yes. Mm, no, no, no. Uh, no way. Uh-uh. Uh, ooh. Let's see here. We got... Uh, ooh, what's that? What we got here? Oh. That'll do it. Good trifecta morning. Morning glory. Mm -mm. Now, for those of you who weren't quite sure yet, this is a coffee flavor. It's just getting started. The clouds are nice, but they will be more impressive because it's trifecta. Now, but what kind of coffee is it like? Is it Turkish? Not really. Is it Colombian? Maybe a little bit. Is it creamy? Yes. It is very creamy, but it doesn't taste like creamer. It doesn't taste like an added creamer. It just tastes like a smooth, creamy coffee flavor. Maybe some, maybe a little heavy whipping cream on there, but I'm not sure. I get a feel for it. This is the first bowl of an ice smoke. However, I was beautifully assaulted by the smells and the aroma of this as soon as I opened the mailing package. It was just so, so pungent, it was coming through everything. And yes, the plastic baggie on the interior was completely sealed. It's just that strong. Hmm. Now, it may be an unfair comparison because it's across brands, but this reminds me so much of Hookah Hookah's Mr. Bean flavor, which you may know that I'm quite a fan of. It captures something in a coffee flavor that may be common to coffee flavors, but it captures this essence really, really well. It captures the toastiness without feeling dry. Now, as good as Ramon's coffee flavors are, they still left me feeling like it was a bit dry. Hookah hookah, I mean, excuse me, brain fart, Fokker's coffee flavored. Now, they always seem to just be either Tootsie Rolls or very odd mocha, but um, they're always chocolatey in essence, which isn't bad, but it's not what you're looking for when you go, I want coffee. <laughs> As far as the type of coffee, if you want something darker, well, not necessarily darker, but if you want the Turkish coffee, that's going to be Othmani, and unfortunately, their uh, availability comes and goes quite frequently. But Trifecta's Morning Glory, I don't see this going anywhere because, what, 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 you want some? Do you?
I was just saying how it's delicious, and people love it, and it's not going anywhere. Be good. Mm. There is also, and I know some of you out there really like this, there's also a, a little bit of a nutty undertaste. And because I am a such a huge fan of hazelnut, I'm going to assume that that's what it is, just because it makes me happy. But honestly, it's not clear enough in this blend to really tell me that it's hazelnut. Don't think about getting on that desk yet. Don't think about it. Don't be a nuisance. Okay. Mm. This does pair wonderfully with a real cup of coffee, but I've had enough of that today. So, where are we at a scale of rating from awesome to you must try this? Well, I know I'm a little late to the game, and a lot of people probably already have tried it, and as far as negative feedback, I have seen, well, I haven't gone looking for it, but I haven't seen any. And the more I talk about it and smoke, the more I realize there is a little bit of a chocolatey undertone. But it doesn't tell you that it's a mocha flavored coffee per se. It's just a little bit of an undertone. Mm. Mm. Ah, give me a minute here. There is a buzz. It took a while to catch up with me, maybe because of my tolerance, maybe because it's very light. I'm going to say it's a light to medium buzz because I was cooking it quite hot, but, and again, trifecta, I've not been able to burn it. Not been able to get it singed. It is a resilient, resilient, ugh. edit that out. It is a resilient, resilient flavor. I meant to say brand. So, let's uh, do our rating scale. Let's do it as a shisha and as a coffee flavor. First of all, I would like to say that any newbie who likes coffee any kind, really, even if it's somebody who likes super half milk, creamy coffee, they will still probably quite enjoy this. Now, as a coffee flavor, it's hard to rate because there are so many different coffee flavors out there. It's, it's like, eh, never mind, you know what I mean. But it does nail being a coffee flavor. It is a wonderful, I'm going to say, lighter Colombian roast with a little bit of cream and maybe a tiny shot of hazelnut in it. So, as far as nailing the flavor, it's going to get like an 8.76. It's, it's delicious. Now, as a shisha flavor overall, it starts out pungent and really strong and slow maybe two-thirds of the way through the bowl it starts to taper down it doesn't mean it's bad it's just the characteristic that we've got going here with the flavor and mm, well I like it that's that's on the personal side but let's let's give it a strong uh, 7.996 yeah. Yeah. If you're a coffee lover, you have to try it. 
I mean, there's no way around that. Until next bowl.